welcome to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to talk about a very wonderful plant called the Nastasium plant. Many people think uh, Nastasium is just a flower but for me Nastasium is more than that. Nastasium is a, a wonder plant that uh, grows uh, as a cover crop and uh, when it grows like a cover crop it has uh, multiple benefits because one it protects the soil from erosion and uh, nasturtium as a cover crop also protects the water from evaporation also it protects the soil from weeds it smooths the weeds and also it reduces the rubber that one can use to, to cultivate the land. And this is very ideal in uh, zero tillage practices where we encourage uh, retro soil disturbance. So nasturtium has very many uh, useful uh, uses as I have said, and also it's used as a food. Nasturtium, you can eat the leaves as a vegetable, and also the leaves are very good as a dewormer. When you use these leaves, you cannot have the, the, the tapeworms and the other worms that we, we, we get in our stomach. And also the flowers are also very, very good. You can eat the flowers and it helps you to remove the, the worms that are in your body and also it gives you energy. As a, in our program for integrated pest management, we use nasturtium plants to trap the leaf miners. So it's very ideal in, a, in our companion planting where we plant nasturtium with other, with other plants. Like here, we have got alloy. So it acts as a cover crop for alloy and it is protecting the alloy from intensive heat and also it adds a lot of biomass to the soil. So it also helps in soil fertility. And the other use of um, nasturtium is you can use it as an ornamental flower. Because you can see it's very beautiful when you plant it here in your house. And those are the uses of uh, nasturtium, where you grow nasturtium as food, as a ornamental uh, plant, and also as a dewormer, and also as an insect control plant. And here we have taro grown together with the, with the nastasia where water is the limiting factor the nastasia helps control and to utilize the rich water that comes from the roof of a house and here we have bucket farming for yarrow production yarrow is taro is like a, it's like uh, the arrow roots that we know, but the, the good thing with the taro is that it produces more more tubers compared to uh, the arrow roots. And uh, we can we can see how the taro taro plant uh, produces its uh, fruits. You can see it has several several of them. Okay, this one was uh, was still very young, and uh, because these ones were here, 
it has a several several tubers so when given time the arrow can produce more than a kg of, of tubers in one of them and you can see this is just near the house where instead of uh, planting flowers that you cannot uh, utilize here we plant food we have multiple benefits we have the beauty from the the, 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 the nasturtium plant and also the the food and also it helps in controlling of other pets and therefore nasturtium is a very very important plant that you should not use to plant in your farm so here is a very good plant in urban farming where we know that land is a limiting factor in food production and as you can see nasturtium can also go up up the wall therefore you place the space that is limited so we are planting even nasturtium with the green pepper green pepper is a capsicum and you can see they are growing in very very the, the the green paper is very healthy because it has been protected by the by the nasturtium plant so it's very ideal for any crop you can use it as a cover crop and uh, you'll find waters and also you can see that we are growing nasturtium with the with the bunching onion you can see how how the bunch the bunching onion is healthy and that one shows you that it is very friendly to very many many plants and also we have the the crabbing beans you can see the crabbing beans grown together with nasturtium so nasturtium is the plant to grow in our modern farming otherwise you'll find that uh, so many problems occur in our daily farming practices where water shortage is a problem, soil erosion, and also it helps in regulating the soil temperatures and also adding the organic matter to the soil because of its uh, large biomass. So it's a one plant that we should encourage people to plant and also because of the biomass you know that it's, it's able to, to clean the air the, the carbon emission can be mitigated by the growing of nasturtium plants so click to my channel and uh, remember to subscribe thank you very much for your time and god bless you